Yes, yes, an affordable all-in-one that can game like a champ. Woo! How did I become the woo man? Anyway, <laughs> tell the idea champs. So if you want to upgrade from Windows Home to Windows Pro or just get insanely cheap Windows and Office 2016 keys, head on down to 0 and 9. Links are in the description and I even have a discount code for you and they also have cheap gaming keys too. Today I'm going to do my gaming review on the brand new Dell Inspiron 24 inch all-in-one PC. An affordable all-in-one PC that doesn't suck, it actually looks good. The display is really nice, it's a matte display, has plenty of power in here. We actually have an Intel 8700T. Now that's an interesting processor because it's a 35 watt 6 core 12 thread CPU. So it's not even 45 watts like say the CPU that goes in the XPS 15, it's 35, like 10 less. But I can assure you, you can pump 45 watts into this CPU, no problems. It won't overwhelm the cooling. It also has a GTX 1050. So you just know with those specs there, straight off the deck, it's gonna game and it's gonna game well. And when it comes to heat and noise, what heat and noise? Like seriously, I'll put it through stress tests and sometimes when I was gaming it, it was barely louder than it was on idle and never even cracked 80 degrees. No, low, mid 70s, both CPU and GPU. So temperatures are well controlled, it's not that loud. So if you don't wanna mess about with building your PC, you just want an affordable all-in-one PC that can game and game well, pretty much any title the latest titles 60 frame per second medium high settings this thing has got you covered so let's crack on and get into the benchmarks and after the benchmarks i will do some live gameplay so you can actually see live the frame rates temperatures etc and i will be doing a video editing and full review on this so make sure you subscribe so you can see that and also i have a heater i've got a four thousand dollar Apple MacBook Pro heater. It's awesome. Just got it in house, so stay tuned for that as well. So, anyway, benchmarks DSX Mankind Divided 1080p high settings, 40 frames per second. That's one of the system crushes there. CSGO 178 frames per second. Sometimes it was up to 300, so it was just going up and down, but CSGO, no problem. Witcher 3, which is another system killer. Medium settings, 44.4, 45 frames per second, which is pretty good for Witcher, I would say. With Fortnite, I was getting 68 frames per second, and that was at high settings. And to round it all off, PUBG, baby. 50 frames per second at high settings. And I did actually set the viewing distance to low. Other than that, it's pretty much on high settings, 50 frames per second there. So if you want 60 frames, you're going to have to go down to medium. So there you go. They're the benchmarks. Cooling, no problem. Noise is not a problem. The games look awesome on this 24 inch display. It really games well. So if you want something clean, elegant, in an all-in-one package, you can't go wrong with this. And there is a 27 inch and I will review that one as well. So let's get into my live gameplay and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho. All right, tally ho there, champs. Now let's see how this Dell Inspiron 24 inch uh, all-in-one games. Now this is brand new. It has the Intel 8700T which is a 35 watt um, six core processor, six core, 12 threads. And that's interesting, right? It's 35 watts. It's not 45 watts like you would get in a XPS 15. This is a 35 watt, six core, 12 thread processor. We're gonna see how it games. And this thing has a GTX 1050 in it as well. That's a four gigabyte GTX 1050. But let's see how it games with Fortnite. Obviously the best game a man can ever play. Let's see, all right, frame rate limiter. Let's try 160. It does have a 60 hertz display. We'll just go to all epic and we're 1920 by 1080, yep. Windowed, we don't want a windowed, we want full screen. Full screen, baby. Turn up those FPS. I'll turn it to 200. I doubt it would ever reach 200. V-Sync off, apply, let's go, baby. All right. Yep, I'll keep them settings, thank you very much. And let's play. Set this all to epic. So 45 frames per second at epic. Maybe we need to back that off a little bit, eh? We'll try and get the 60 frames per second. Let's back that off a bit. We'll go to high and we will apply that and escape. Okay, boom, we've reached that magic number and any um, frames per second over 60 frames per second make no difference. There's a 60 hertz display, so you're not gonna see any of those frames. You 
definitely want to set it to the highest settings it can achieve and get up to 60 frames per second. So let's go, let's jump off. All right, so where's the Hacienda? Oh, it's not here. Okay, the ruins. Is there ruins here? Maybe I can get a car and drive to the ruins? No, I can't. I can't get a car. What's going on? I can get a golf buggy though. Um, all right, so constant over 60 frames per second. Ooh, what's up here? Except the campsite. Whoa, there we go. Beautiful. A nice treasure chest. Hey, that's good. How do I open this? Oh, yeah, baby. All right, so this should perform very well at gaming. As you can see, I'm getting that constant 60 frames per second. The temperatures are well in check at the moment. Uh, you know, mid-60s, both of them. The boost clock on the GPU is 1600, so that's perfectly fine. 3200 on the CPU, so it's not throttling at all. Uh, so we're getting maximum performance out of this so far. What's down here? So this is um, high settings, 1080p. So that's looks pretty good actually for you know a cartoon sort of thing. Yeah, it's pretty hard to use this keyboard on my lap. I'll give you the tip. Um, all right, have I got a gun? Where's my gun? Oh, a potion. All right, throw your gun. Let's go. That's it. And you can see it's a constant 60 frames per second noise. Listen. There is no noise. It might as well be idling. What's interesting about this um, all-in-one is that its idle noise is you can hear it, okay? So it's not like super quiet under idle. But when you crank it up and you um, encode and stuff like that and just, um, just tax the CPU and GPU, it doesn't really get any louder. And that's amazing to me. This is under full load now. I mean, it's pretty much gaming, yet it's so quiet. Like, I can hardly hear it. You can probably hear the cars outside more than you can actually hear. Why does no one come here, actually? This is a good spot. Oh, yeah. Luke Galore. Whatever. Let's find someone to nail. Get the hell out of here. Let's try and find someone to nail. As you can see, we're still pushing, what, 56 frames per second. It's pretty good. Um, it's 60 hertz display. The display is actually really good. I haven't measured the color gamut yet, but just looking at it, the viewing angles are great and no reflections because it is indeed um, matte display. So I'm very happy with that, that it has a matte display, especially for gaming and stuff like that. That's really good. You don't get the reflections. Um, I know it doesn't have a pop of a glossy display. Glossy displays just have really good pop. Um, you're never going to get that with the matte display, but, you know, it's up to you. What do you like better? Do you like, um, oh, jam it. I died. Oh, how embarrassing is that? Anyway, I think I'll wrap it up. All right, so I'm dead, whatever. Um, I will pass it through a stress test to make sure these temperatures stay under check, but as you can see, it's not even getting anywhere near like critical temperatures, like 70 degrees is perfectly fine, and considering that the fans are hardly on, you're never going to have any overheating issues with this um, all-in-one. It can game like a champ. I mean, what, playing 60 frames per second high settings, I mean, what more do you want? It's 1080p, looks good, screen's good, game's good. It's not made for gaming, but it's a good game, and if you buy this, you'll be very happy with the gaming experience. So that's it. I'll wrap it up, guys. Until the next one, tally-ho.